And before we dive down that rabbit hole, as you guys know, I like to always take a few minutes and just share something that's anything that might be bubbling up in my own life or perspective that's really served me well. And one thing that, uh, that kind of popped up for me in the last few days is this idea of um, the, I am. We've all heard the famous uh, Bible quote, I am that I am, right? And Moses originally walking up on, you know, the mountain, I think, you know, he supposedly talked to God at the, at the top of the mountain. I wasn't there. Didn't, not, can't tell you for sure. I think he might have found a patch of mushrooms on the way, but that's a <laughs> whole other conversation. And, um, you know, he's supposedly up on the mountain talking to, to God and, and asking God, like, what do I, you're telling me these things. What do I tell the Israelites? What do I tell them, you know, wh which God am I talking to? And he says, tell them I am that I am. And, uh, you know, and he said, went on to say, for this and every generation, I am is, is the name of, of God, essentially. And when you start thinking of this being the power uh, of God, when you're invoking, we all use the words I am all the time, every day, right? And you're actually invoking the power of God. I truly believe that. I mean, you know, organized religion may have, um, you know, taken some of these stories and and in some cases, people would argue that they've been hijacked and, and whatnot. But I think there's a lot of great symbolism and power in a lot of these ancient texts. And so, you know, looking at this one, I mean, how often, how many, everyone in this room today, everyone out there listening, you've probably said, I am something today, right? And, you know, understanding that when, whenever you say, I, whatever you say behind I am, whatever follows I am is following you, right? And so taking that, like, did I say I am sick? I am sad? I am, you know, sorry? sorry uh, or and I am healthy. I've told the story of being healthy my whole life. Oh, I don't believe in getting sick. I am healthy. I am healthy. Guess what? I've gotten sick, but very, very, very rarely compared to the average person. And so what do I attribute that to? Just a story that I made up, understanding that by invoking these words, these two powerful words, I am... I am the creator. I mean, when you think about it, if I exist, you take I am that and break it up. I am that I am. Just being. We're all a part of, you know, God is every single thing that you can name. I am that. I am this. I am that. There's nothing that it's not. What part of it all are you going to invoke next is always the question, right? It's all there. It's all at your, your fingertips. It's all at your disposal. You know, whether you're saying something negative or positive, there's, you know, it's, it's, it's indifferent. It it's, works as a law, in a sense, that we're all learning. And we're all, of course, becoming more aware of this and, and being more conscious in our decision to invoke this incredible power. Um, you know, you're writing others essentially into your story to conform to the instructions that you, you're giving them. Another word um, that is similar, ohm, same thing. There's a, there's a book um, by David Allen called The Power of I Am, and he talks about all the symbology and, you know, how uh, Mary and, you know, uh, the Virgin Mary represents the same thing. The idea of Christmas, you know, essentially being uh, very symbolic. It represents the human, human heart or the subconscious, and the, the Virgin Mary is the infinite conception of self, Right it can continue to conceive itself without the help of man. The, the, you know, Mar itself means the sea, uh, or you know, essentially is like your stream of consciousness. He talks about um, the virgin, the word virgin being a mind dedicated to God. The star in that story, you know, the, 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 the Bible story of the nativity, representing the infinite intelligence within that's always guiding us. And you know, I am is essentially a gift that is the, the, the Christmas tree, right? It is the gift. There's no work or sacrifice that's needed, right? That's a powerful thing. You know, you have this power. You don't have to earn it. You're all automatically worthy just by being, right? No, no sacrifice, no work. You can use this tool all day, every day to create the reality that you want to see. And some of us have been doing it unconsciously for a long, long time, and it's time for that to end. It's no, it no longer serves us to say, I am all the things that I don't want to be. When you realize you are the creator and created world into one, use the power that you've got, right? <sighs> yeah. 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 The other thing that's important to really think about with this is, you know, only you can say it for yourself. Only you can say, I am whatever, you, whatever wants to follow it. People can try and give you an idea of what you are, and, you know, oh, you are this, you are that, and you can, you can, you can accept it, and you can buy into it, 
but you don't have to buy into it. You know, the only one who can really say what you are is you. You're, you're, you have all the power. And that's another thing that a lot of us have been doing. We've been taking the story that someone else gives us. Oh, you are this, you are that, and allowing them to create us when, you know, really, you're really giving up your power when you do that. And a lot of times we're giving up our power to people who we don't even really necessarily admire or want to model ourselves after, right? It makes no sense, but yet we've all been trained to do it. So we're at a point in our evolution where, you know, we realize we can take the power back. We can start our morning with something as simple as repeating, I am fun, I am fun, I am fun, I am wealthy, I am abundant. Whatever it is you want to say, you're literally just casting spells, abracadabra, as it means I create as I speak. You're literally casting a spell every time you use and invoke this powerful mantra, right? Why aren't we using it more? Why are we just using it and not really even, it's like, it's like wielding our power, you know, without understanding. It's like driving the Ferrari, stopping and starting, you know, never really using it to its fullest. It's like driving it in a neighborhood when you could be taking it on like, you know, open-ended, no restriction road. And that's what you have at your disposal to do if you decide to do. And I don't know about you guys, but I am empowered by everything. I am choosing to be empowered by everything. When something is challenging me, I am telling the story that, oh, that's happening for me. I'm empowered by this. I'm empowered by what just happened. It's, it's, there's always a, the, the lump of coal, there's always a diamond waiting on the other side. And when you start telling that story, everything starts to shift. Now you're using this power that's been lying dormant, waiting. We're all like, you know, these, these fishermen that have been sitting on the back of a whale fishing for a minnow. You have so much power right underneath you that you haven't been accessing. And it's time for us to take our power back and not give it away and let other people tell us what we are, to, to, to say it for ourselves. Whatever follows I am follows you. And... Um, we are all doing it. You are all making the difference. You're all getting it. Everyone out there listening to this. And as we, make, as we start to make this change and to realize how empowered we are, that you know, if, if God is that and you are something, guess what you are? <laughs> like, you know, there's a book called Three Magic Words. And at the very end of the book, that's you're waiting for the three magic words. It's like from the 50s. You're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. And at the very end, it's like, you are God. That's the three magic words. <laughs> and it's like... You ready for that or not? I don't know if you're ready for it, but that's what's going on. And, and you know what? This is what Jesus said when they were about to kill him. Oh, we're going to kill you. You said you're God. Oh, isn't it written in the old text? Ye are gods. So I'm not saying just I'm God. I'm saying you're God and you're God. And you out there listening are God and the plants are God and the trees are God. It's all the same energy. And we have the power to invoke so much more than we've been. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm happy to see what, uh, see what else is hiding in there in the cookie jar for us to play with.